Ah, oh, removing keycaps. If you're watching this, you may not have ever swapped keys on a keyboard, so you should just prepare for an activity so attractive that it becomes your means of stress relief, and over time, you begin to grasp the tools with delicate touch of a butterfly and the sting of a bee and become that golden keycap pulling samurai. Or you just need some new keys. Hello, my name is Manny, and I'm your host for the new series called Key Essentials, brought to you by Pimp My Keyboard. First things first, key pullers. There are many kinds, and they all have their benefits, whether it be ergonomics, material, or speed. At PMK, we offer two different kinds of key pullers, ringlet plastic keycap pullers, and the classic wire keycap puller. Before you take your keys off, maybe take a picture of it, or Google it, because sometimes you forget, it happens. The benefits to the plastic keycap puller is relative speed. You just put it around your finger like this, and you push down with the tongs around the surrounding sides of the keycap, and you pull up. Now use your other hand and pop that key out, and snag yourself another one down the line. What's that I hear? Is that the sound of efficiency? Yes, it is. Now, when you come to a larger key like the enter key, just turn your ring 90 degrees, center it up in the key, and pull up. Now the wire keycap puller takes a little bit more of that finely tuned golden samurai skill that we talked about. Ultimately, it's not hard, it just takes a little bit more finesse. You can grip the keycap puller in many ways, that's up to personal preference, but in this exercise, we'll grip it between the thumb and the side of the index finger. Now notice the human hands taking care of this because I don't have hands. Hello darkness, my old friend. If your wire keycap puller is brand new, you may have to use two hands to spread the wires apart to grab the key. Over time, the two wires will loosen a bit to make it a single hand operation. Hold the puller at an angle and slide the wire down and straighten it out so now both wires surround the key. Now here's trick number one. Give it a little twist. I would show you, but I have no hands yet again. The twist will lock the puller in and you just pull up. Now eject the key and move on. The cool part about the wire puller is that you can pull a wide variety of key sizes. Now for trick number two, the multi-pull. Depending on the keycap family you have, for instance, DSA, you can pull three keys at a time before ejecting them from the puller. Now watch as my long neck, club-handed homo sapien friend demonstrates the speed and agility of the triple pull. That's fast. And the final step in the keycap removal process is to put your new ones on. Hopefully you're an organized person and you laid out your new key set in order or you took a picture of it because that's what I said to do earlier and this part takes patience. Now, young grasshopper, we have come to the end of our lesson. Take your time, learn how to use the tools of the trade, aim high in your skills and strive to become a keycap golden, <laughs> become a golden keycap puller samurai. We will have new content every week, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram or Facebook, hit up our store and buy some key pullers, or heck, maybe even a key set. Who knows? It's up to you. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I'm waving, but you can't tell because once again, I have no hands. Bye.